guys, this is Tara with Kittens Weights and Tarot and today I'm doing a review of a brand new deck that I just got um, called the Tarot of the Magicians or El Tarot de los Magos and this is by Corinne Kenner illustrated by John J. Blumen. Um, so I actually <laughs> I got this deck for a dollar fifty. I was so excited uh, and I found out that it's um, I think it's out of print in English uh, but I got it in Spanish and um, uh, I, the reason I got it for $1.50 is because, you know, sometimes like on your, your Amazon Prime card or whatever they, um, like whatever you spend, you can get back in points. And so I actually happen to have almost exactly the amount of points that this deck cost, uh, which was, I think like $20 or something like that. So I ended up only having to pay like $1.50. So I was like super excited. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, so it comes in this box, which I think I'm going to toss the box because it's a little flimsy and the cards have their own box. So, and you'll see that in just a second, but I just want to show you this. So, um, apparently, uh, there are quite a few people who are looking for this deck. So they're starting to look for it in other languages because it perhaps isn't available in English and me, I do understand Spanish. You know, I read and write and, um, uh, I read and write Spanish. I speak, uh, Okay, I kind of speak suckily, but <laughs> just because I haven't spoken it um, like fluently for a long time. Uh, but anyway, um, the Spanish here is actually uh, like Spain Spanish, which is a little bit different than the Mexican Spanish I grew up on. Uh, but anyway, um, so it's saying that this uh, beautiful uh, deck is dedicated to the magic and um, virtuous practice. So in here we have a, a 272 page book, a beautiful deck of 78 cards. Uh, Corinne Kenner is the author of the book and um, uh, coming from the University Estatal de California. And she's the author of eight other books and um, a specialist in the metaphys metaphysics and John J. Blumen. Um, is the artist of the cards and he is special uh, specializes in the world of fantasy and that he has 40 years of experience in illustrations and things like that so he's done editorials in north america so um you know very interesting i actually hadn't heard of this deck and it just kind of like popped up uh in my amazon and like i was looking at the images and i was like oh heck yeah so anyway it opens up just like this and you can see that the cards have their own box. So this box is like pretty flimsy, which is why I said I'm probably just going to uh, toss this portion because it just, it's not really protecting too much. <laughs> and I have a bookcase. So um, I'm just probably gonna end up putting uh, this book uh, in the bookcase. But anyway, it's a beautiful book. It's a proper book here um, and gives you a little bit about the author. Um, and then here um, we have uh, our introduction. So welcome to the uh, Mandragoria uh, Academy uh, where you will study, um, oh, be a student and kind of become a master of tarot. So it says to take a seat and take out the cards um, and be immersed into the world of magic and mystery. So um, <laughs> it's, it's actually very creatively written, which is kind of nice. And then it goes into the majors and of course the minor arcana. And what's nice here is you get like a little story about what's going on in the cards. Um, and then it talks a little bit about the symbolism kind of going on in there, which is pretty cool. And then check this out there's a little spread for each and every card in here, which is so cool. Um, and it talks about, you know, uh, just, it's just like a lot of stuff um, on each card. Um, so here you have like the magic and practice and, um, you know, working with the mystery of the, the fool card. And, you know, I just think it's so cool and it has that for, you know, each card. And then you go into uh, the minors um, and although it doesn't have the, the spread for the minors, it has it all for the majors. Um, it's just like things to, to work with and the symbols to work with, uh, going on, you know, in this card. So it's a lot of like journaling that you can do. Um, 
and a lot more in depth than here are some you know keywords about this card so i like that it goes into a lot more uh depth which is cool um so anyway so that's the book let me see if there's uh, any more back here so you just have your bibliography and a little bit about your author and your illustrator so yeah there you go okay so let's take this out of the box so here of the tarot of magicians Okay, so let's take these out of the box here. And they are still in order because um, I haven't really had a chance to work with them yet. But you know how you just get some decks and you're like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to have no problem with this deck. This is one of those decks. So let me actually just bring the card up here. And um, it's your standard tarot size. Let me get another tarot card. This is like my um, Santa Muerte tarot. So yeah, it's it's exactly like the same. So yeah, it's your standard tarot size. Uh, you can see that it does have quite the coating on it, quite the sheen, which makes the cards a little sticky. I noticed as I was like trying to go through each of them. So it's got a little bit of stick going on there, but I think with uh, use, um, that'll go away. So that's not a big deal for me. Uh, let's go and look at the image on the back, which is pretty cool. And I'm seeing that it probably wouldn't be that great for reversals just because it's not, um, you know, it doesn't look exactly the same upside and down, uh, right side up and upside down. Um, okay. And then you'll see too that it's got these borders, which, you know, if you're a person that hates borders, I think that's pretty easy to chop off. Um, but for me, I don't mind it so much. So let's take a look at the cards. Oh, and I do want to mention that the cardstock is freaking fantastic. It's like not flimsy, but it's not like too thick either. So I'm, I'm totally enamored with the cardstock. Okay. Let's take a look at this deck. Okay. So, uh, like I said, they're, they're still in the order that they came in that I got them. Um, but I am going to actually start using them today so again there's there's a lot going on and the guidebook is it's really good and okay so maybe you're a person that doesn't understand spanish um the world created google translate <laughs> so you know i think you could get the gist of the guidebook uh, even if it's a language that you don't speak um and although i wouldn't say i'm like a hundred percent fluent in spanish i'm about 99 percent fluent so i could pretty much understand like what's what's going on and I think it's it, interesting representations like I actually haven't seen um, the Hierophant in this form before which is pretty cool and this for the lovers that's also really interesting with the books and the writing and knowledge and um, yeah I dig it. It's just, it's just a, a different take, um, instead of on that kind of other religious take on it, where it's like Adam and Eve and, and the apple, you know, I just think it's pretty cool. So yeah, I, I get a lot out of these images already. Like I can't wait to work with it. And I was like, you know what? I don't, I rarely ever do a deck review where the cards are still in order because you know, all my decks are, I've already worked with them a lot. Um, and like I said, I already, I already feel like I don't even, <laughs> I don't even need to like work with it and like feel it out and be like, Oh, I think I'm going to work with this deck a lot. Like, no, I'm going to work with this a lot. Um, and I love it with the toads. Like how cool is that? It's like, you guys, my art self in me is just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and this, I am mm, all about it. And I also want to mention too, because uh, there's always been the discussion about, um, you know, diversity index, you know, having 
all, all sorts of diversity, not just racial diversity. And I believe that there, you know, what's cool about now, about nowadays is that there's so many decks out there that it's not like you're, we're just confined to like choosing this deck or this deck. Um, you know, that there are decks that are culturally specific. There are decks that are just animals. There are decks that are just plants. There are some that are just abstract. There are some that they're like inclusive with like age and, and, and racial diversity and, you know, genders of all kinds. And, you know, and, and I think that that's wonderful that there's such a diversity in just decks in general. Um, and for, you know, myself, I'm, <laughs> I've always been, I mentioned that I'm probably as racially diverse as <laughs> you're ever going to come. You know, I have an uh, indigenous background and I also have, you know, my, my Filipino side and I also have, you know, like my mother's side, which is German and Irish. And I have, you know, just my Italian and there's just like so much going on, like in my blood, it's like a freaking party. Um, and so when I come across a deck, like let's say that just has Caucasian people or just has African-American people or just has Japanese people or, you know, I, it's culturally specific, you know, and I, I just enjoy the artwork and, uh, and I know that there, there's more than just those decks out there. So I like to have basically a diversity to my deck collection. <laughs> and actually, you know, because I, have never seen a deck where there was just Pinoy, you know, Filipinos. I found out that uh, one of uh, the girls who I've bought a deck from before, she lives in the Philippines, uh, in the PI, and uh, she's come. Uh, she's already come out with a deck called the Pinoy Practical Magic Tarot. I was like, ah, oh, mabuhay! <laughs> I'm so excited. It's, it's not allowed in the States yet, but once it gets here, and oh my gosh, then we have like, these people going on like there's um they're like alien people i was like this is so cool in this freaking deck um yeah so i'm gonna be excited when the P pinoy deck gets here because that'll be like the first time like like my actual like culture is there so that's pretty cool see and this one too it almost looks like um the girl might be older than the boy here you know how it, it always like in the movies and stuff like the dude is always like way older than the chick and I'm like come on really <laughs> um, and then with the the cups cards oh like you'll see with the um, the king and queen you're gonna love it there's so much going on here I dig it Yay! <laughs> we get to the court cards. It's mer people. Heck yes. Oh, and then with the air suit. Oh, we get into oh, oh my goodness. I like that there's like elementals in here. Like this is freaking awesome. Okay, so yes, we have the the Fae. I was like, yes. So beautiful. So I know the artwork probably isn't everybody's cup of tea. Like some people don't like the, the realism uh, type art, but um, I do, but not always, you know, it has to like be laid out in a particular way. And I like this particular way. Okay. All right, you guys, I'm going to do it. I'm going to shuffle it for the very first time. It's here on camera. So I'm just going to cut the deck real quick. 
All right, let's do this. Shuffle, shuffle. I'm gonna pull three cards just so you can see how I would read with it. Uh, if there's a message that comes through that connects with you, hey, go ahead and take it because you know messages, messages come in odd places and they may just even come in a deck review. <laughs> uh, so go ahead and take it. Okay, so let me give these one more. And then I'm gonna do a little side shuffle here. We're gonna go with three cards. Okay, well, they don't stick that much together. I mean, I think the more I shuffle it, they're not really gonna stick. So I'm gonna pick a bottom card here. Okay. Oh, we got those cool elemental people from the wands. Okay, so let me bring these cards up so you can see. you have your alchemist or you have your temperance and then okay you have your judgment and then here we have the knight of wands, Caballero de Bastos. Okay, so let's let's put this together for you guys. If I was gonna do a little little mini reading. Okay, and interesting, it's two majors in here too. Okay, so I'm kind of getting that, like the right mix is going on. You know, I've been talking about, you know, like on my channel and, and um, you know, on my Patreon and in my newsletter that there's so much magic going on right now. Like there's so much at hand that people don't need to like go out and try to create more magic. Like I think that there's already a lot of um, energy that we can tap into. Um, I think by the time you guys watch this, it'll be the day after, um, yeah, because 8-8 eight, eight is the Lion's Gate. Um, so this will be like kind of the day after, but there's all this, this, this energy, you know, going on, not just that, but um, from the people from freaking Gaia, there's like, you know, just so much. And so with that, um, I think that it's, you know, what I'm seeing in the cards here is that it's starting to wake people up in different ways that they haven't normally experienced before. Like even people who are the most like, let's say um, like skeptical people of anything metaphysical, like even they are starting to question their beliefs, uh, you know, a little bit. People are trying, are, are seeing things differently than they did before. And so I really see this with the, the Knight of Wands of, you know, now's the time. If you wanna dive into some area that you haven't quite studied before, if you, you know, want to, you know, look into a little bit of theology. If you want to, you know, study, study outside of your comfort zone of your area of expertise. Now's the time to do it because there is a great uh, amount of magic amount of knowledge that is readily available to everybody right now. Um, so that we can, you know, open ourselves up, you know, that's, that's all kind of what it's about is just, you know, opening yourself up to, um, more than just you you know there's there's a whole world around you that we have barely begun to understand so this is kind of like a worldly message I guess <laughs> nothing too specific today but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Tarot of the Magicians uh, again by Corinne Kenner illustrated by John J. Blumen um, I said I you know I'm probably not going to keep this ginormous um, box but I will of course keep the box that the cards came in but let me know if you have any comments or questions let me know if you have this deck um, do you have it in something other than Spanish do you have it in English do you have it in a different language um, do you even know about this deck because I didn't you know to be honest um, but yeah I'm, I'm super happy with it um, it's definitely going to be one that I can see myself uh, working with not only myself but with my clients so 
Anyway, any comments or questions, place them down below. I love chit chatting with you homies. And if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding 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 notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading for me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. I have not only my plethora of readings and seashell readings and scrying sessions and Lenormand readings, um, but I also have my room and body sprays. I have my salves. I have my travel witch altar pendants, my ancestral altar pendants, my rainbow bridge altar pendants for your furry, feathery, scaly loved ones. Um, I also have... oh my Wally's World Oracle, which is a deck that I created. It was community created and community funded uh, last year. And that's my little Wally Wallito there. So definitely check that out. Um, and uh, if you want, sign up for my newsletter. It's totally free. And I hit your inbox once a month. It's the first of every month. Um, I don't do anything spammy. Like that's the only time I ever email you <laughs> is on the first of every month. Um, and the newsletter has like arts and crafts DIYs, witchy DIYs, um, books that I'm reading, uh, crystals that I'm using, herbs that I'm using, channels I'm watching, etc, etc. So if that interests you, definitely sign up. And if you want to throw a little love my way, think about joining the KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittensweights and tarot. A little as a dollar helps out this channel so I could do more for you guys. And hopefully when all this stuff clears up, I want to do another meetup with you guys. So anyway, I will catch you spiritual homies later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.